Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. If you like my content, please make sure you subscribe. I do have quite a few of you guys who watch my content, content and haven't subscribed. So let's jump into the fifth month of my tiny house Airbnb glamping. As you guys know, I have some land that I just purchased with my aunt and my cousins who took my mentorship and they wanted to learn step by step on how to grow and complete a glamping business. So if you guys are interested in that, you could check out my mentorship where I teach others the same way and eventually I may invest with you or I may have some land that I will let my subscribers place their glamping business on and you guys pay rent for me. But that's in the future. If you want to do the mentorship now, just go ahead and check out my website at lessjazzitup2.com. So here is my fifth month update on my tiny house, first glamp site ever. <music> This month was very quiet. <laughs> After August, it was much needed. We had zero bookings on Red Awning. Red Awning usually only books for like the really, really high um, reservations with my Gatlinburg one. Eh, tiny house, not so much, but we don't really need it because Airbnb does pretty good. As you guys know, I don't have a mortgage and I don't have a water bill. And that is because my land came adjoined to a house. So the house is its own mortgage and we just happen to have an extra plot of land um, a little bit further away. So we don't have to pay any extra things on that. So keep that in mind. My electric bill, way cheaper than last month at $78.76, almost as much as I pay my cleaner. I pay my cleaner $78.75, and it's because it takes him less than an hour to clean my tiny house. It's not that big of a floor plan for me to be spending hundreds of dollars on a cleaner. He came a total of 11 times, one time less than last month, which gave him a total of $866.14. That left us at four days unbooked. Two of those days, I actually blocked out myself because I had one person staying for literally just one night. When you have a tiny house, you wanna be able to have people book for just one night because it's tiny. They're not going to be wanting to spend a whole freaking two weeks, one week in your house because it is tiny. It's more of a novelty for them. And the reason why I blocked it out is because I didn't want him to have a cold hot tub when he arrives because it takes so long for my hot tub to get hot at this point because it's a 120 volt. I've recently made the money to uh, update that voltage in November. So but that's still months and months unaccounted for for having a very slow hot tub. So I chose to keep his unbooked uh, or blocked out so that he could have a hot, a hot, hot tub. Um, so we had, again, 11 guests, four days unbooked. My lawn care was $50. It's not that big of a lawn. Doesn't take that much money for it to be cut through. And Again, that was $50. My Wi-Fi is $136. I have taken you guys' advice and did Starlink, but we are on the waiting list. We are in the boondocks. They're very slow getting out to us, even though it was made for the boondocks, but we're on the waiting list, and hopefully my Wi-Fi will go down. What I really love about my electric bill being so cheap is that, you know, it's not that expensive to have to, you know, heat my house or to put AC in there because we use a wall unit. But I'm very interested to see how much more money it's going to cost me because I added in four more um, sockets and I made my hot tub at 120 at 220 voltage to make it hotter during winter. So keep that in mind. See how much more I'm going to have to pay for my hot tub electricity because of that. That left my expenses at $1,130.90 and I have to go ahead and write down that my insurance is $56 because I forgot to write that down again. So that would leave my actual bill or for expenses would be $1,186.90. Gosh, always be safe with y'all's insurance, y'all. I know it sucks having to pay for that stuff. Um, so then we'll subtract that from how much I made. All right. So on Airbnb, that gave us a total of $4,443.57. That is without our expenses taken out. Here are some of the prices 
for the tiny home <laughs> that we did for September. I'm very surprised that we were able to get $199 for a uh, September. Like, I don't even think I paid, I budgeted that for August. And I don't even understand why I went less money in August when I know we can make $199 a day. So, um, yeah, you guys got to get up on this tiny home stuff because you will make a lot of money. Get my mentorship. Shameless plug. All right, some things that happened. I had to refund $50 because there was sand in my hot tub. And one thing I have learned with people is that if someone is going to have a complaint, even if it's small, just offer them $30, $50 for a refund because I don't want to hear anything that I'm a bad host or that you leave me a bad review because I didn't fix it. I gave her $50 back and she gave me a great review because of that. So that's like something I learned. Swallow your pride, swallow what you think your profit is going to be, and just give people a tiny refund if they say something like, oh, the hot tub is cold, um, oh, the fire pit didn't work. Throw them some money. That way you get very good reviews and people wanting to come and book you again or to have people say, oh, she's a great host, so I'm going to go ahead and book with her even though someone had a complaint. So I gave her $50. That's already been taken out of my total, so you guys don't have to think about it. So with my expenses and my profit, we profited $3,256.67. So after just five months on Airbnb, We've made over $15,000. Like I didn't even add in my first month of how much we made. Um, actually, let's go ahead and add that in there because I found it. One, seven, nine, four, 96. We've made over $15,000 in profit, almost 20,000 in profit. Our net was even more than that. I'm pretty happy with like five months of doing this, seven, oh, mm, I'm happy. So let me know if you guys want to take my mentorship for tiny house and glamping. I would love to have you guys. You can find it here on letsjazzitup2.com and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.